Hi, and welcome to the first live broadcast of Squad Car 22. Uh, it's my 45th birthday. And I thought it was a really good way to guilt people into watching me on the internet. Um, this episode is one of my favorites. It's uh, number five. Um, we're pretty much everywhere on the internet now. You can watch, you can listen to us on iTunes, Spotify. Uh, we have a website. Um, if you want to support us on Patreon, go to deepdrag.com. Chauncey is not looking good. You think he'll ever come out of that coma? How do I look like a doctor to you? You put on one of those lab coats, you could probably pass for one. Uh, shut your pie hole, Mumford. Are these jelly beans for everyone? That candy is part of Chauncey's get well gift. Really? I would have figured you were the type to give a fern or maybe a pair of fluffy suede slippers. I didn't come down here to watch you eat your way to a diabetic seizure. I'm here to tell you, you're both being demoted. First thing tomorrow, I want you to turn in your squad car keys. From now on, you'll be working the boardwalk. I don't understand. What are you getting at? Well, then let me be clear then. From now on, you're on bike patrol. We're, we're bicycle cops? Hey, Bubba. Hey, you want the usual six nuggets with a side of chimichurri sauce? Start me off with six pieces, but keep them coming. Mm, hard day patrolling the pier, honey. You could say that. They got me partnered up with this woman, Officer Jenny. Ever since we started working together, I've found it impossible to do my job. Mm -hmm. Well, bicycle copping can't be easy. You're telling me, I'm stuck riding behind her all day. I'm forced to watch her pump those pedals. She's just going up, down, up, down. And when we're going up the hill, she starts grunting while she's pumping. So it's like, oh, up, oh, down, oh, up, oh, down. How am I supposed to get any work done in that kind of environment? You know I'm standing right here. Oh. Sorry, uh, I should have asked. Um, did you want some nuggets? They have got this new sweet chili soy sauce that's to die for. I'd appreciate it if you didn't objectify me while we were ordering lunch. Objectify? I'm not sure I'm familiar with that term. Baba, can I get a blue cheeseburger and some onion rings? Coming right up, honey. You know, Bubba, that's not even the worst part. Now that they got me partnered with a woman, I'm in a constant panic that I'm going to get fired. I mean, one little report from her and I'll be thrown out of the precinct. Instead of worrying about me turning you in, you could make a conscious effort not to sexually harass me. Truth about the stress of it. It's making me a little edgy. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Can I get that to go? Sure, honey. I'll wrap that up for you. To go? Did someone call in a crime? I hope it's a skateboarder. There's nothing better than throwing a skateboard on the pavement and filling his face with pepper spray. No! I just can't listen to another word from you. <clears throat> Here you go. One burger and rings and a six piece to go. I got these. Oh, I'd rather pay for my own lunch. Sure, I know. But what can I say? I'm a gentleman. I 
Out of the way! Officers coming through! I'm gonna use the ladies' room over there, and when I come out, I'm hoping you'll be eating your chicken somewhere else. Cramps? What? I was wondering what was uh, making you so cranky. Just give me my burger! You know, it's kind of unsanitary walking into a bathroom with food. Your face is unsanitary! And now a word from our sponsor. Yo quiero yucateca taco Yo quiero beans and salsa Yo quiero rice and chihuahua. Piña, piña, piña. Wondering what to order over the St. Patrick's Day weekend? Well, we've got you covered. Order an iguana chimichanga combo and get a pasta de reina on us. So, what are you waiting for? Our drive throughs open 24 7. Offer not applicable in non participating venues. And now, back to our program. Mario's Pizzeria. I don't remember that being there. A pineapple pie might go good with my nuggets. I think I'll have to check it out. <laughs> Anybody home? Are you open? Who said that? El Duce. El Duce. El Duce. You think this is funny? Wasting an officer of the time of the law's time? <laughs> Wasted your time, eh? Why don't you tell it to Il Duce's face? <laughs> Sounds like there's two of them. Uh, look at this cafodi back around like he owns the place. Why don't the Jew and your big Harry Balls opens the oven. <laughs> the, the oven? Yeah. Open the oven, buddy. El Duce. El Duce. El Duce. What? Is that a talking lasagna? Hey, 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 hey. Have a little respect. You are in the presence of El Duce. The reincarnation of Benito Mussolini. <laughs> Wait, you're a Campari bottle that can speak. That's right. You got a problem with that? Hey, I'm just here for a pizza. Do we look like we are serving slices? <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, come closer. I want a slice of you, huh? <laughs> What do you say? Give El Duce the bracioli. Yeah, if I were Jews, I wouldn't be saying no to El Duce. How are you talking? Did a wizard cast a spell on you? Is this some kind of advanced alien technology? Hey, El Duce wants the cock. Whoa, whoa. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, that's all right, baby. Give me the cock meat. Oh, okay, that's what I thought you said. Hey, you're a couple, right? Yeah. <laughs> what did you think Jeff Capitan will do when I call him up and tell him, you think you've been conversating with the lasagna and the Campari bottle? Yeah, what you think, <laughs> buddy? He'll <laughs> toss you in the loony bin. That's what he'll do. Yeah, that's a good one. How's a Campari bottle going to dial a phone? We have our ways. I think I'm going to go now. Not so fast. <laughs> hey, how are you doing that? <phone rings> 911, what's your emergency? <laughs> like to report a nutcase. A real picky tailor. Okay, oh, j just hang up the phone. All right. 
we gonna do this? I don't even know what this is. It's a easy. Just slip a little dodge in your meat, and no one will ever know. <laughs> You're both disgusting. Oh, you don't have to go all of the way. I sure will be happy with just the tip. Yeah, just the tip. Uh, just the tip, buddy. <sighs> Now another word from our sponsor. Shirley wants to watch Allie McBeal, but her husband's football game is on at the same time. Now Greg, I know your sporting event is on at the same time as my stories, so I was thinking you should go down to McHenry's bar and watch the game. No can do. I invited the guys over, but don't worry, we'll turn into your lady show during halftime. Who's at the door? Oh, my! It's Dennis! From the electronics store! All right, all right, all right. I'm here to install your brand new state-of-the-art JVC Betamax. With this year, beauty, you can record a show on one channel while you're watching another on a different channel. <clears throat> well, I'll be the things you electronic boys invent these days. All right, I'm just going to set it down right here, then. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> You're so handy. Hey, Shirley, shouldn't you be starting on pigs in a blanket? The guys will be over any minute. No, can't do. Since Dennis is recording my shows, I'll be down at McHenry's getting gas with the girls. <laughs> with JVC's new Betamax player and recorder, you won't miss a thing. It's quite a card, 22. I can't believe it. Holloway just left his patrol bike unlocked, leaned up against mine. Where is he? Let's see, if I were Mumford standing here, I... I would go in that pizza place and ask if they have pineapple pies. I feel so violated. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god, I shouldn't have asked. It, it's not what it looks like. Really? Because it looked like you just had your penis in a lasagna. <laughs> they, they made me do it. Guy, guys, tell her. Unless you have something special going on with the cook, I suggest you wipe that off right now and meet me out front. Okay, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Unbelievable. So gross. <laughs> Mumford, I think I've been pretty tolerant of your behavior, but this, I mean, what were you thinking? Sometimes police work takes you to some dark places. That's your answer? Yeah. Fine, I'm... I... I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna go drink a bottle of whiskey in the shower until my brain turns off. Whatever makes you happy. Damn. She's got a sweet ass. Uh, uh. Mm. Tonight's actors included John Jeffer, Martin James Croppengetter, David Dykes, Jocelyn Sunrise, and Nathan Feuerberg. And give a round of applause to Maya Trujillo for providing the music and sound effects. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming. You can listen to more episodes on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, our website, and you can uh, go to deepdrag.com and become a Patreon. Bye. Yeah! Like what you hear? Why not subscribe and support shows like Playdate, Squad Car 22, and Flies in the Jar? Go to deepdrag.com and join our Patreon.